Before we continue on with our training, you can see that a player named Tyren filled up a water skin in the fountain while we were idling in the room. We will learn how to do that later on. Sooner or later, while exploring Ardwolf, you will die. When you die, you will return to the Elorian Hospital. If you die to a monster, you will lose some experience and may possibly lose a stat. After dying, your main concern is healing yourself and finding your corpse. Any equipment you are carrying will be in your corpse in the room where you died. Typing owned where will show you the location of your corpse. If the corpse is in a dark room or outside at night, picking up a light from Grizzroll's grocery store before leaving the city is recommended. From anywhere in Aelor, typing find groceries gives directions. If you die in a room full of aggressive monsters that are too big for you, or are having trouble finding your corpse, see if you can find a helper to assist you. If no helpers are available, other players may be able to help. Your corpse lasts for 3 hours of real time. If you quit the game, your corpse is saved with you, and the timer stops until the next time you log in. As a last resort, if you can't get to your corpse and nobody is available to help, you can quit and try again later, knowing that your corpse is safe in the meantime. Unfortunately, on Ardwolf, death is a way of life. When it comes to retrieving your corpse and continuing forward, a number of options are available to you. Typing owned will show us our owned items that are currently in the game. As our corpse is owned to us at the time of our death, it will appear on this list if there is a corpse. If it does not show up on this list, then there is no corpse. The best thing to do is to check if you are wearing any equipment by typing equip, or if you have everything in your inventory by typing inv. If you have nothing, then that means your corpse has rotted in the wild. If you have access to newbie, you can ask on there for help if you are lost or confused. The helpers and advisors are there to help you and will either point you in the right direction or guide you to your corpse. Their job is to make you as self-sufficient as possible, but sometimes they will have to kill or tame an aggressive mob if it is still standing in the room where you died. If you no longer have access to the newbie channel, you can try asking on the question or gossip channels for help. The other players are not obligated to help you, but you can usually find one or two willing to help if you are patient. Please do not spam the channels with your request and please do not make it a demand. You will get a better and generally more helpful response if you are polite. To make themselves easier to find, some players have marked themselves as willing to help by adding CR in their from field. So typing who from CR will give you a list of these players. To contact one, you should first make sure they are of a higher level than you, and then send them a polite tell. If they are around, they should be responding to you. If you get no response within a few minutes, then try another player. Corpses do last for three hours of game time, not real time, so you don't have to be in a hurry to get your corpse. But you don't want to dawdle either. You can always log off if there is no one around to help, but first, you can try these other options. Every player has three free CRs, and they should be used wisely. If no one is able to help or you are in a desperate hurry, you can find the Ivarian Head Priestess at the Elorian Temple and pray for corpse in her presence. This command will not work in any other room. There is always the option of spending a trivia point to retrieve all your corpses in the game. This can be done at Ravi's shop. You can run to Ravi in Aelor to get there, but he is located to the northwest in the temple. Trivia points are valuable for many things, but it is a good idea to keep one or two aside for such an emergency. If you join a clan that has a morgue, you and your corpse will appear in the clan morgue upon death. This should not be the sole reason for joining a clan, but it is certainly a nice perk. Another valuable resource that is not covered in the help file is your friends list. As a newbie, you may not have too many friends, but as you progress through the game, that list will grow. A friend will often be willing to go that extra step for you when a stranger may not. Above all, remember to be polite. You are what you type. As you can see in this list, there are many players who have flagged themselves as willing to help with CRs. They are also at various levels, as you can see on the far left side of this list. 
Some of them have flagged themselves as AFK, as you can see with the red lettering before their name. It's certainly a colourful list. When you die, it is not permanent, but there are some negatives to death. All skills and spells, not the recovery times though, are cleared. Dying to a mob will cause you to lose at least 400 EXP, and possibly a random stat. This will need to be retrained to get it back. The gold you have stays on your character, allowing you to buy a boat and a light to help you get back to your corpse if you need it. Any trivia points you may have, as seen in your score and who is, will still be with you too, allowing you to buy back your corpse at Ravi. However, any tokens you had on your corpse will still be on your corpse. So make sure you have converted the tokens to points unless you plan to sell them right away. Some of this may sound a little complex right now, so feel free to read the help files that are mentioned in Help CR and Help Dev. And remember, you can always ask questions on the newbie channel. Ooh, Nurse Orcron has given us some potions. These will definitely come in handy, though I am most likely not going to use the Black Lotus potions as I am a warrior. But I will certainly be using the Refresh potions. We have now completed health training in the Elorian Academy and have a new task added, complete equipment training in the Elorian Academy. We can always come back here to drink from the fountain when we are hungry or thirsty and the room to the north has some very comfy beds. Just remember to run to health from anywhere in the Academy to come back to this room. I'll see you in Filt's classroom for equipment training.